Peace and blessings. How are y'all doing today? Happy Thursday. There's the day governed by Jupiter. Jupiter's at the zero degree of Pisces. The sun just went into Leo. <laughs> glory, glory. Let me tell you, some of these energies are really intense. And um, I'm of the school of thought that it is better to be really present rather than to be wishing for something to be over with. It's like, I encourage myself always when I'm in un un um, challenging, difficult experiences, rather than wishing them to be over with, wish and pray for myself to have the courage to stay present with actually what is happening. And cancer energy was like that for me because it was bringing up all of those childhood experiences that were felt disempowering and that had me um, doubt myself and worry about life. And it was where I really bought into scarcity as a child because this planetary experience is rigorous. And so, you know, I say these things and I know they sound weird, but I remember being a child and feeling like, oh, these people are lost here. Like these people don't have a clue how to deal with what they're dealing with. And I don't know why I knew that or what I even knew. I just knew that shit was off. <laughs> so, um, but what happens is when we're in an environment and that's the only environment we're in, sooner or later it wins. The environment takes over. The environment becomes the norm. And so that's what happened for me in my child. It was like, oh, you know, yes, this is a difficult experience. No, these adults don't know what they're doing. And so... I'm a child and I don't know what I'm doing either, but I know this doesn't feel right, right? So sooner or later, the feeling became normal and I joined in what everybody else was doing. So I've spent my lifetime undoing what I aligned myself to that was out of alignment with my divine nature. So Jupiter today is at the zero degree of Pisces and Jupiter is retrograde. Um, I encourage you to join the Jupiter retrograde class um, tapping into your will of fortune because it's really important at this time that we all learn to tap into our own individual genius. The problem is that we don't believe that we are geniuses. <laughs> That's the, I, and I can't convince you that you're a genius. I can't convince you that you have, to, you have to, you have to actually have a sense of it yourself. And everybody has genius because everybody is here at this incredibly unique time on the planet to bring something unique that is needed for us to thrive, that is needed for us to become who we're really here to be. Especially those of us who are in black bodies, right? Because we are the foundational core of this country. We built this country. So the more of us that wake up and recognize, oh, we built this country, that means we have power. That means we are magical. Like really, what does it mean? Look at America. And I'm not saying don't look at the what the people do, but look at the structure of the country and and that it, it was nothing, right? And, and that this whole country has been built and the whole world functions around America. Black people built that. And when we understand that, then we can recognize who we are because that means that we are very, very powerful and we can build anything that we desire. But you've got to believe in yourself, right? So Jupiter at the zero degree of Pisces retrograde is about believing in yourself and doing the work to remove the blocks that would have you forget who you are, really coming into a deep memory of who you are and um and your divine gifts and what you're here to offer and um you know that there was a legacy in that right like so that you've inherited gifts from your ancestors you've inherited things that will help you be what you're supposed to be and we have to remember that's the thing that i've been doing for the last few years remembering right remembering oh when i was born i, I really believed in magic and i loved magical things and i was always very intelligent and i was i went to a school for highly gifted high achieving children I was in a program for children who were really smart because that energy is mine to cultivate so that I can offer something to the world, to the culture, to the community, to my family, to myself that is necessary. 
we come here with the things that we need within us to then cultivate that, to mine to mine the energy within us so that we can then offer it to the world. So that's Jupiter at the zero degree of Pisces. What, what is your belief in yourself? What, what, what is it that you need to believe in yourself so that you can really um, expand and share? And, you know, what, what's your faith in yourself? Do you have faith in who you are? And I want you to know this stuff gets really weird, right? So, like, I remember when I was a child, I was very obsessed with, like, Egypt. And, and it didn't make sense because my grandmother was a Christian. There was no Egypt stuff around us. But I always had a sense of that. I used to dream about pyramids. Just weird things, but it's because that's the energy that I come from and that I'm bringing back to the planet at this time. And when we understand, you know, that our chil as children, we know what we're up to, but then we forget because they put us in Western schools that then train us to be um, robots, basically, or, or slaves because we are working for money and you know, money is necessary here, but money is just a ticket to move around. And when we treat it like it's God, then we actually lose sight of who God really is. So the moon today is in Capricorn and the Capricorn moon is about structures and the sun is in Leo. And so what we're creating structures around is our own relationship to ourselves, our own identity, our own creativity, right? Like really believing in your gifts, really believing in your power. I talked to, I had, a, I've been having more and more sessions lately where people are coming knowing that they have power, knowing that they have gifts and they're seeing the evidence of it. And if you create structures for yourself to be able to recognize your power and your gifts, the universe will give you evidence of what you're up to, but you have to learn how to ask. And so I encourage you to book sessions with me. I This is what I do. Um, I'm here to help us wake up. I'm here to help us remember because there's nothing else more important on the planet right now than us remembering, especially black people. Everybody needs to remember, but as black people, because we are so tied into the fabric of this nation in a way that is the creative pulse of this nation, we are the ones who can save ourselves. <laughs> we want to save ourselves. And in the saving of ourselves, we will create new structures and realities that allow other people who are resonant, not, you know, we don't, the days of them coming and overpowering us and taking all our shit, that shit is over with. That's done. They can't even do that anymore. I don't, even, I don't even care what weapons they have. It doesn't even matter, right? Because it's about a consciousness thing and they don't have the consciousness that we have. So if we cultivate our consciousness and focus on the power and the truth of who we are and create structures that allow us to build our relationship to our power, ourselves, our dreams, our belief in ourselves, we will then begin to uncover the power that is within us so that we can build a new reality. So with that, sign up for the Jupiter Retrograde in Aquarius class. We just started the second, um, the second cycle. And if you struggle with really understanding your gifts, understanding your potential, understanding your power, how to use it, if you struggle with believing in yourself, like believing in yourself beyond what you've been told, let me support you. And this is what I need you guys to know is that we all need everyone to fulfill their side of the agreement. <laughs> you've got to fulfill your potential because when you fulfill your potential, everybody thrives. All right. Peace and blessings, everyone. I'm the Moon Mama. Have a wonderful day. Tomorrow's a full moon in Aquarius. I'll come back. But know that this individuality thing, just coming into yourself, this Aquarius energy is about the self. So you got to believe in yourself. You got to trust yourself. You got to be able to listen to your internal voice and trust it and know that it's telling you what to do when you need to know. Like one time I was driving down the street. I've shared this story before, but I have countless stories like this. I'll start to remember some more. But I was driving down the street and I heard my inner voice say, Turn right here. And I turned right and then it said, Knock on the door at this place and go give this person $40. I did what they told me to do. And when I knocked on the door and the woman came to the door, she said, oh my God, thank you. I was just praying for how I was going to pay my gas bill. 
And she was like, this is exactly the amount I need. So it's important for you to be able to learn to listen to yourself because yourself will lead you to what you're here to do and how you're here to live on the planet and who you're here to be of service to. And the listening, you can't doubt it because we hear things and, you know, some people hear, oh, you should do something harmful. You hear these kids saying, I heard a voice tell me to go murder the people. We're not talking about that voice. We're talking about the voice of love, the voice of compassion, the voice of healing, the voice of connection, the voice of transformation. And the more of us who are listening to that, the more of us who are going to build a reality based in that. All right. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.